Now that we have discussed the accounting entries in a separate set of books, let us do a quick recap of all that we have covered so far. First, we defined a joint venture. What is a joint venture? A joint venture is a business of short duration or to complete a specific venture. Profits and losses are shared between the co-venturers in an agreed ratio. It is a short-term partnership. It's a specific purpose partnership. So what is the difference between joint venture and partnership? We discussed a few differences. You have partners in a partnership. We have co-venturers in a joint venture. Joint venture is for a specific purpose. Partnership, the business activity goes on for a long period of time. A minor cannot be a co-venture. A minor, however, can be admitted to the benefits of a partnership. A joint venture has no firm name. A partnership has a firm name. No separate set of books was required for a joint venture. But in case of a partnership, we do need a separate set of books. Profit and loss is ascertained from this separate set of books. Profit and loss is ascertained annually every year in case of a partnership. But in case of a joint venture, profit and loss is ascertained at the end of the venture. The books of accounts in a partnership are kept on a going concern basis. But in a joint venture, it's on realization basis or liquidation basis since we know that the venture would be coming to an end shortly. The partnership is governed by the Partnership Act, Joint Venture, that is a Memorandum of Understanding following the Contract Act. Accounting treatment, we said there were three types. One is with a separate set of books. And the other two, no separate set of books, only in the individual books of the co-venturers. One would have a memorandum account and the other would not have a memorandum account. And we discuss the accounting entries when there is a separate set of books, separate set of books for the joint venture. Entries were simple. Basically, the accounts are just a joint bank account. Since a joint bank is open, co-venturers account and the joint venture account, which tells you the profit or loss. When money is brought in, joint bank account debit to the co-venturer's account. For money which is spent on account of joint venture from the bank account, joint venture account debit to joint bank account. If expenses are met by a co-venturer personally, joint venture account debit to co-venturer's account. Basically, the joint venture account is a nominal account. All expenses are debited to the joint venture account and incomes are credited to the joint venture account. Cash inflows and outflows debited and credited to the joint bank account. Co-venturers account, personal accounts. In case of income received and deposited into the joint bank, joint bank account debit to joint venture. If income is received or any sale proceeds are received by any co-venturer, then it's co-venturers account debit to joint venture. The balance in the joint venture would reflect profit or loss on joint venture. If it's a profit, the credit side would be more. Therefore, joint venture account debit to co-venturer's account in the profit sharing ratio. And finally, money is paid out from the bank to the co-venturers depending on what is the balance due to the co-venturers. Having done this recap, let us now take a mini Yes.